Yo, what's going on guys? It is Get Scared here, back again with some more Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and today you guys are watching some League Play gameplay. This is some Hardpoint, probably one of my favorite game types in Call of Duty history. I really do hope they bring this back in the next Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, as it has been rumored by uh, a lot of people. Man, I, I just really hope we get some information on that game soon, because I'm actually really hyped. Uh, I, it seems like whenever a Call of Duty is bad and boring, uh, you get really hyped for the next one. Like, I remember... Back in Black Ops 2, I really wasn't hyped at all for Ghost because I was actually enjoying Black Ops 2. But now that Ghost is out and that it's uh, boring, um, I I'm just really hyped for the next game. I really want it to be a great game. I mean, obviously, there's a chance they could suck. There's probably a better chance they could suck than it being like a really revolutionary COD. But uh, I don't know, man. Sledgehammer's a new developer, uh, new people. They've probably been watching Treyarch and uh, Infinity Ward go at it for years now. They probably. Uh, hopefully they've noted down all of their mistakes and they're gonna fix everything but um I don't know man we can only hope uh, we can only hope indeed but um I'll probably get it I mean <coughs> I'll, I'll probably buy every cod anyway so uh yeah I'm just I'm really psyched for that game I mean not nearly as psyched as people are for Titanfall right now because god people are just hyping that game up so much lately and uh, I'm personally on PS4 and PS3 I don't have an Xbox I probably never will have an Xbox just because, well, honestly, the Xbox One, I mean, it's kind of obvious, guys. It's lost this console war. I mean, I, I'm not a PS4 fanboy. I, I really don't care. If, if Xbox looked like it had a better console, I would have gotten the Xbox. But PS4, it's been better from the start. It's been proven to be better, and it's $100 cheaper. I mean, what more could you want from a console? So it obviously won this console war, but um, now the Xbox has a console exclusive that everyone is hyping about and honestly guys to me Titanfall just looks like Call of Duty Ghosts with mechs and without kill streaks basically so well, look at that four piece damn that was nice but uh anyway yeah it, it's just honestly uh kill streaks are what makes Call of Duty a really fun game in my opinion I mean just going for really high kill streaks going for the nuclear metal the Moab um, and just raining death on your enemies, uh, it's just a lot of fun to me. Um, kill streaks are definitely what keeps this game fresh for me, just because there's so many different options that you can run. And guns, too, obviously, and Titanfall really doesn't have either of those. I mean, it's got a very limited selection of guns, from what I can see, and, uh, there's obviously no kill streaks. The only thing you have is your Titan. I think there's, like, three types of Titans, but they all basically do the same thing. I mean, let's be honest here. And, um, yeah, it, it, it just looks like it's going to get really boring really fast. I mean, if you enjoy it, uh, props to you guys, but uh, it just it really doesn't look like a game for me. Like I said, man, I have a PS4, so I can't get it regardless. Um, there's no way in hell my PC can run that game either because uh, the graphics look pretty nice. I will admit that. But, uh, honestly, guys, the maps, they, they look like COD Ghost maps. I'm not going to lie. It, all I see really is green. When I look at that game, I, I saw a map. It's like all it is is green. Just like Stonehaven and all the other maps in COD Ghosts, I mean, it just looks like a really boring game to me. Um, maybe fun for the first couple of days, and then it's like, I, I just feel like people are going to get really bored of that game really, really fast. And a lot of people are actually agreeing with me on that. I mean, I, I left some comments on some Titanfall videos like that, and uh, they got a lot of thumbs up. So I, I guess a lot of people are kind of thinking the same way I am right now about this game. And... Uh, I don't know, it just it really just doesn't look like a game for me. I've never really been into the, the futuristic kind of shooter, not really into Halo or anything like that. <clears throat> um, I just like to keep it modern shooters, honestly. Um, this game, obviously, it's set in the future, but this game's a lot more like a modern shooter than it is like one of those crazy uh, futuristic shooters like COD, uh, no, not COD, I mean uh, Titanfall is, or Halo, or something like that. Like, I, I just love this kind of shooter a lot more, personally. Um... And same with the arcadey feel of it. Like, I, I'm not really into the whole uh, Battlefield thing. I mean, Battlefield's a fun game, don't get me wrong. I have Battlefield 4. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, great graphics, for sure. Um, but it's just, it's not a game that I could keep coming back to, you know what I mean? It's not a game that I could play every day and just have a blast on like Call of Duty is. Just because Call of Duty, it just has that arcade feel. It's, it's really hard to describe, like I said. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just Call of Duty. It's just fun, fast-paced, um... And uh, there's so many different things, so many different ways you can play it. Just so many different ways to have fun. And that's just what keeps me coming back, I guess. And Titanfall just doesn't look like that kind of game to me. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Because I know a lot of you guys are on PlayStation. I have a lot of you guys added. And um, 
yeah, I, I'm curious to know what you guys think because obviously a lot of you guys can't get it if you don't have Xboxes. But uh, a lot of people are actually buying Xbox Ones right now just to get this game. And to me, that's absolutely insane. I mean, uh, I honestly feel bad for those people spending like 600 bucks uh, just for one game. And uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I really hope they don't get bored of it because obviously that would be a, a massive waste of money for them. Um, but yeah, it just it really just doesn't look like the game for me. I mean, there's tons of Titanfall spam going on right now. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to last, but uh, uh, I'm just going to predict that it's going to be about a month until people start forgetting about this game and moving on to uh, Modern Warfare 4 Hyper, a different game. Um, what other games are coming out soon? I, I really don't even know. I, I should probably keep track of this, but uh, it, it just really doesn't look like the kind of game for me. It, it just looks like it's just going to get really boring really fast. That's just me, though. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm sure some of you guys have it. I know some of you guys have it, too, um, on your Xboxes or whatever. Let me know how it is, too. Maybe like uh, Honestly, I've considered getting it. I've considered getting an Xbox. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if you guys say it's a really, really fun game, if you blow my mind about it <laughs> or something like that, I don't know. I probably won't get an Xbox One uh, anytime soon, though, that's for sure, just because of how pricey it is, and I'm kind of broke right now. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this commentary and gameplay. Let me know if you did in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next commentary. I have a shit ton of gameplay recorded as well, so <laughs> you guys can look forward to some more videos. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Make sure to have a great day. Peace.